guys, it's XAMK Epic here, bringing you a video explaining the EU and why we've decided to leave. Now, in my personal opinion, before we get this started, I wanted to stay in the EU. Reason being is mainly because I plan on going on holiday soon sometime in the near future. Getting money for that holiday is difficult. And the fact that I'd have to pay more to go abroad now is just, it's ridiculous. The fact that it's gonna cost me a lot more money than it would have, which means I've gotta save up a lot more. And that just sucks. It sucks for someone like me. But unfortunately, we have voted to go out of the EU. And I think the main reason because of this, and it's pretty clever by all the politicians they have done like what hitler did with the jewish people whoa 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 before you start barrading my comments with oh we're not like the nazis you know la 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 okay maybe all the people who wanted to vote the eu didn't hold all the jewish people in showers okay but the way hitler went about convincing german people to put Jewish people in showers and that and saying is by putting up this fear the Jewish people were like aliens they were like bad people they and he had a lot of these videos get loads <coughs> of German people to go to these meetings and saying how how we can put them in camps to you know try and keep them safe and away from the German public which convinced a lot of people that Jewish people were bad the problem with that is that it worked loads of people were like maybe it's good to put the Jewish people in these concentration camps and that's kind of the same as what has happened with the EU. Loads of people on social media have been putting all this shit about if we vote to leave, we'll have £300,000 a year to build an NHS hospital each week. So that means more NHS hospitals, more money will go to English things. And loads of people have seen this and gone, oh, that's a good idea. Not knowing that these are politicians who are known for not keeping their promises. Nigel Farage even said on Good Morning Britain, no, now that we've left the EU, that money's not going to go to NHS hospitals. It can, but there's not necessarily saying it will, which is just another way of saying, oh, thanks for the extra £300,000 a year, which Nigel Farage and all his buddies can spend on whatever the hell they want, maybe get a good pie. Loads of people are also saying we're screwed. We're not screwed. The reason we are not screwed is because we have just only just left the EU and you've got to like you can't just say we're screwed from day one just because of a change change is a constant change is the only constant in the world and we've we've been out of the eu before how do you think we survived years and years and years ago when we were under queen victoria so england leaving the eu is not going to be a completely bad thing it's not like the world's going to explode and england suddenly going to become like albania the main thing is we are just going to have to accept it now this is like what we've chosen you know we we as a country have a right to vote and even though we may have voted wrong we still have that right to vote we don't have a whole group of countries telling us what we can do we can control immigration in our country it's like trying to control the time when you sneeze during hay fever season that's how we're going to control immigration we think we're going to take a tablet keep it under control and then bang you know just sneeze fest but it'll be interesting to see what happens now to be honest i woke up this morning i knew i knew the votes was going to be leave EU. they did it in such a way that loads of people would see all these positives. If you brand all the positives of voting to leave the EU and hide the negatives, like the really bad, really bad negatives, just sweep it under the rug, as to say, it just looks so good. Anyway, guys, before I end the video, I just want to showcase this clip I hit yesterday on infection domination. It does have a miss in it, so I'm probably not going to use it, but enjoy. Oh, what? There was three up there. I heat waves them all, and he uses a freaking gravity spire on me. There's two upstairs. That yes, on? that was on! That was on! So let me know what you guys thought in the description. Let me know how you decided to vote yesterday. That's been it for the video. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these cut commentaries. I've been XMK Epic. You know what to do, guys. Stay epic.